everyone. Well, it's me Neharika and welcome to a new lesson. Oh, that was a wonderful drive. I loved it. Now, whether or not you drive, but learning English expressions related to road and driving is essential. So if you are here to learn English and you would like to know which are the phrases, which are the expressions that you can use while you're driving or while you're not driving and you're just in the passenger seat, then here I am. I'm going to help you with 10 expressions and that's going to help you to increase your vocabulary and of course build your conversation skills with people. So guys, let's start with the first expression. Now we often use this term bumper to bumper. Now you use it when you got to describe heavy traffic. It means that vehicles are moving very slowly and almost touching each other. So it's like, like this, it's bumper to bumper. Now Americans can use the term bumper to bumper as an adjective too. Now if you are late for dinner because of traffic, you can use this phrase to tell your friends that, oh, sorry, I am late, but traffic was bumper to bumper. So which means that you were stuck in heavy traffic and they will understand what you mean. So next time you're stuck in traffic, use bumper to bumper. Another one is, well, there's a part of vehicle which is mainly found on small trucks and on small model of cars, and that's a tailgate. Now this is the gate or it's a doorway that opens up in the back of the vehicle. Now if your car or if your truck has one, then you can lower the tailgate and actually sit on it. Now this door is on the back of a larger passenger vehicle's seat. Okay, so now why am I mentioning about this part? Well, the reason why I mentioned about tailgate here is because in America, very famous thing called is like a tailgate party. Yes, a tailgate party is a thing these days. Tailgate parties usually take place in a parking area. So they park their car and where one or more of these vehicles are stopped. Now, their tailgates are open and guess what? They're actually munching on food, they're having their drinks, they're having their beer. So these are tailgate parties. Now it's available for the drivers and their passengers too. So in United States, tailgate parties are very common. And in fact, they're very common at a large sporting event or music concerts. So once the concert is over, you will see in the parking area where people are having these tailgate parties. So that's a pretty interesting expression that you have learned. Now tailgate parties and tailgating are two different expressions. The form of tailgating is fun, but it is not fun when someone is tailgating your vehicle. What does that mean? Yes, I am talking about a tailgater. A tailgater is a person who drives too close to your car, like it's almost touching your tail lights. Yes, that's really risky, you know? I mean, especially when you're driving in America, if you spot a tailgater who is like really close to your car, that's really rude, okay? And of course, it's dangerous too. It can actually cause road accidents. So that's a tailgater for you. Now, there are other behaviors that can also lead to traffic accidents. And of course, when we are talking about traffic accidents, I have another expression for you, which is rubbernecking. Yes, what's rubbernecking? Now, for example, rubbernecking is when drivers kind of slow down on the road, of course, while they're driving to look closely at a wreck or something else eye-catching. So they're basically driving, they're not stopping their vehicle, they're just going a little slow. Maybe there's a wreck on the road and they would like to take a closer look. How do they get a closer look? Like they literally take their neck out of the window and they see 
if a serious crash is on the road okay that's a wreck now remember rubber necking is also dangerous and that also causes a lot of road accidents so guys if you do that well you got to be careful please don't do it while you are driving now another rule that i totally believe while you're driving is to stay calm because this brings me to the next expression that we use which is road rage yes the most dangerous kind of driving behavior is road rage what exactly does road rage means well it is related to road driving of course but it is the anger the violence towards other drivers if you are that kind of a person who gets into road rage often guys it's really risky now if you show violence towards other drivers then it's a big problem now remember road rage is a term that you use when you get really angry you get really violent on other drivers okay so do not get into road rage another expression that i have for you is the road hog but road hog are not dangerous but they are a pain now to hog something means to take too much of something yes a road hog takes too much of space on the road the road hog sometimes drives in two lanes so for example if you have lane 1 and you have lane 2 oh look at this road hog he is right in the middle like he's taking up both the lanes while driving and they may not let other motorists pass them so that's a road hog the next expression that i have for you is hit the road hit the road means to leave like to go home when you have to begin your journey you use this term hit the road for example you can say oh i would love to stay longer but hey it's time for me to hit the road well i better hit the road there's too much of traffic now okay which means you don't want to get stuck in the bumper to bumper traffic so you got to hit the road right now let's look at another expression which is road rash Road rash is actually an injury which is sustained when a cyclist or a motorcyclist falls on the road while moving and actually scrapes their skin. Yes, that's a road rash for you. A lot of road rashes are common. You will meet your friends especially the boys who love riding their bikes. Well, I'm sure they all have experienced road rash before. So road rash is someone who has experienced or has an injury from a motorbike accident. Here's the next one. Buckle up. Everybody, buckle up please. Well, this is actually a phrasal verb that you use to put on your seat belt. Yes, so you can use this expression very often when you sit in the car. You can also use the verb uh, fasten, like fasten your seat belt. Everybody fasten your seat belts, okay? The opposite of buckling or fastening your seat belt is unbuckling the seat belt. Okay? So once you're done driving and you want to get out of the car, you unbuckle your seat belt. Okay? So that's how you use this expression in your English conversation. Now the last expression for today's lesson is stop being a backseat driver. Yes, I wish you stop being a backseat driver. What 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 does that really mean? Well a backseat driver is a person in the car who is not driving but who constantly criticizes the driver's abilities to drive like for example someone constantly suggesting you oh hang on hang on oh you got to take a left oh my god there's a car coming you got to be careful it's as if he's driving or she's driving someone who's constantly criticizing or really annoying you while you are on the driver's seat. Yes, I hate these backseat drivers because I love driving and I love to be by myself. And if I have a backseat driver along, oh, the drive is super annoying. Hope these lovely expressions really help you out while you are there on the road. So start using them and now I am going to get back to my apartment and enjoy my drive. I'll see you guys. Mm -hmm.